welcome back to James Hook Fishing. We just stayed at Bogle State Park for about three or four nights. Here is a map of the campground. We stayed on campsite number eight. And uh, the video is pretty long because the park spread out. You have to loop around a couple of times, but I'm gonna try to fast forward over the redundant part. Um, if I start doing this more in the future, I might have to invest in a real microphone because these Apple headphones do not have the great, greatest of quality. But uh, right from our campsite here, we're going to cross over a bridge. There's a little creek there that our son enjoys playing in. We're coming up on uh, the dump stations here. There's two of them, one on the right and one on the left. We're about to pass by. And we're going to take a left. And this is the official entrance to the campground. So we were right at the entrance of the campground where our campsite was. There is a little ball field here on the left. It's a little playground here on the left as well. sign there to beware of bears. We didn't see one there, but a neighbor said that they've seen one every year that they come. The bathhouse that we use is right here on the right. It's cleaned every morning, so it was in pretty good shape. Our campsite was back to the left there, but we're going to take this turn to the right here and you can check out some various different campsites on the left and the right. Come up here and turn around and come back. park was very kid friendly. There was a lot of kids playing all over the park. The temperature was great. Uh, we stayed the middle of July towards the end of July and the temperature hovered around 80 to 85 which is a lot cooler than South Georgia or most parts of Georgia. to get our spot. Apparently somebody backed out and four nights opened up. And so we swooped in and took those four nights. But apparently this park stays quite booked during the summertime. So if you're planning on going to Bogle State Park, try to get those reservations as early as you can. Especially in the summertime when a lot of people try to go seek out the cooler weather. it up here till we get down to the next turn off. Alright, if you would have went straight there, then that would have taken us back to our campsite. But we're gonna go deeper into the campground here.
come up on the primitive camping parking for the walk-in. They have their own little bathhouse here in case of emergencies need to go take care of some business. And it looks like the campsite numbers are on this post right here to the left and you just put your blue tag up and hike in and camp all secluded. So here we are turning around. I had to finagle my way to turn around right there, but we're still in the same spot. Come up here and take a right and keep on going and see what else this campground has to offer. here on the right are on Wolf Creek so those are kind of nice especially if it's a pull through like this so definitely check out the Vogel State Park campground map and try to plan ahead like I said we had to take what was available for our trip
for this loop here is only for pop-up campers or mini RVs or tents or van campers. So these are more spread out, a little bit more secluded in my opinion. But uh, this little loop here will whoop right back around to that bath house that we passed by a couple of times. Hopefully you got your bearings, if not, then uh, check out the campground map. Alright, so we're about to leave the campground and go check out the rest of the park. campsite. Site number eight is on the far left right there. You saw a glimpse of it. We're going to shoot it on down this road. Pick up the pace if you've already seen this. I just want to show all this and fast forward so uh, maybe you wouldn't get lost instead of just clips here and there. Trail back on the left that goes up a 
me and my son hiked it a little bit up there. It's pretty strenuous. It's pretty straight up. I wouldn't recommend it for small kids, but it would definitely be a fun day hike. There are some cabins uh, to the right here and on up on the left. I think they're one bedroom, two bedroom, maybe some are three bedroom. I'm not too sure on that. You'd have to do your own research on that. up on the visitor center here on the right it was open during the week but then on the weekend it closed I don't know if they had something going on I felt like that was awfully odd and straight ahead you're about to see Trilita Lake which I believe is how you pronounce it is named after a little Indian girl is what I was told by one of the park rangers um, I did fish in it. If you want to check out that video, then uh, click right here. There's no motorized boat in the lake, but you're welcome to put your canoe and kayak or whatever vessel you have that does not have a motor on it. goes around the lake. It's one mile long. Uh, that one I would recommend for, for small kids. I feel like they could do it. Coming up on the right here is a little beach that the kids can go and play to. There's play in. There's a pavilion here that you can rent. Um, I believe the brochure said you had to have at least 100 people in order to rent it. Things expected. A couple more nice cabins up here on the left. They weren't allowing anybody to rent those at this time due to COVID-19. So hopefully in the future that will start being a thing. This is the last little area up here on the left I want to show you guys. There's a playground for the kids right here on the back side of this. There's a little workout area with different workout equipment. 
And on the other side of the workout area, a little grassy area, I think there's going to be some people playing soccer. And up here in a bit, there is going to be some mini golf, some putt putt. It was closed right now due to COVID 19, so they weren't renting out any putters or balls. But if you bought your own putter or golf ball, then you were allowed to play for free of charge. video we're gonna head back to site number eight where we stay if you like these kind of videos and you have any suggestions of different campgrounds you'd like us to go and stay at and do some reviews or some tours then let me know in the comments down below but thanks for watching guys and make sure you uh, like and comment and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing thank you guys